Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm doing a collaboration with my good friend Teneva Baker from Teneva Baker Art and Design. And she has been with me at the Fluid Art Experience as one of my helpers for a couple of years now. And I just love her. She's fantastic uh, as a person and as an artist. So we will be teaming up again May 23rd through 25th in Asheville, North Carolina. Check out fluidartexperience.com for more details on classes. So this piece here is, um, I'm doing a pearl pour, and um, basically our collaboration was that we just incorporate texture into our piece. It didn't matter what, what we did. So we were definitely on the same wavelength here. So this is a pearl pour. I use the DecoArt Extreme Sheen as my base in Obsidian. And with the Extreme Sheens, you don't even have to add in the satin enamels. It's basically Extreme Sheen paint in Obsidian, Floetrol, and GAC 800 on this one. And then I used a pour over color of Amsterdam Lamp Black mixed with, again, Floetrol and GAC 800. And because those paints, those Extreme Sheen paints are so reactive, um, again, you didn't even, I didn't even need the, the satin enamels to make these pearls. This is kind of a different kind of pearl. So, uh, this was actually a really fun background to make. I've actually done this one before on another pearl and structure piece I did a while back and I wanted to revisit it, but doing a black texture over top. So I'm letting you watch here. This is the time lapse. This is about 45 minutes later and you can see that the pearls are popping up. I like that there's actually some negative space in this one because it works in well at the end. So here is just a wet result of um, the, the basically the background or the base painting for this textured piece. And it, um, it dried awesome. It looks so cool. And really, I, I just love this piece. So I used the Golden Fluids Carbon Black mixed with a extra heavy modeling paste by Golden. So I use a lot of different products and there's a reason I use all these different products. And I wanted to use this one specifically because I like how it looked um, matte with the matte finish. I actually wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out because with modeling paste, they add marble dust to the polymer emulsion and it gives it more structure, but it also will make things a little bit more opaque in, its, in, in the look. So, I wasn't sure how this was gonna dry with just the paint mixed with it. I thought maybe the, the modeling paste was going to kind of be too light or more grayish. But as I was mixing it, I saw that it looked like a very true black. So I, I like that. Um, I always save all my plastic containers of whatever this is a parmesan cheese container i just wash it and i probably used if i was to be honest this is what i mixed up right away but i probably used a full eight ounce container of the modeling paste mixed with black for this uh, painting so I did mix up just a little bit ahead of time because I wasn't exactly sure how much I was gonna need. And I knew that I could just mix up a new batch pretty easily if I wanted to. Now, if I wanted to make a very specific color, you have to mix it all up ahead of time. 
So what I did here is I swatched out several different pastes, uh, uh, semi-gloss gel, a matte gel uh, in extra heavy, and the modeling paste. And I really did like the sheen that the modeling paste dried. So you'll find you'll see that I, I swatch out a lot when I am doing these type of paintings. So it's not just, you know, kind of throw something together and figure it out. I really plan things out. And you can see right now I am messing around with my iPad. And what I'll do is I'll take a picture of the painting and then I'll start just playing around with it with my um, my pen. It's an Apple pen. And you can see I kind of darked out different areas. There were several actually like actual options. And then I use this chalk little pencil thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this has been the perfect marker of where I want to add in my texture paste, like my guidelines, because if I don't like it, if I put it down and I don't like it, I can very easily just wet it and erase it, which is perfect for this type because the first time I tried this, I used a acrylic marker, which was fine, but I really like that this chalk allows me to erase very easily if I put down lines and I don't like the lines, which I do a couple times here. You'll see that uh, when I start, I put down the lines and then I decide I want to kind of move them a little bit. And so I just use my white or my um, my spray bottle of water and I just spray it on here and then I just wipe it right off and it works out so well. So I did this a couple times. I'm gonna let you watch for a second while um, I do this and I'll be back with you in a second. in there uh, now I can take my paste I add it to my paper palette so these are coated palettes disposable palettes and I'm using my favorite little fluid art co palette knife it's number 32 it's like my baby little knife but it makes the perfect little um, scales and you can see here I mound my little knife with my paint and I just start adding in the scales. And this is actually a really kind of relaxing and it's really fun for me. I love this part of the painting is just adding in this detail. And I know it looks like it's happening really fast for you guys, but these type of paintings take quite a bit of time. This one was probably four hours of just adding scales, which I know sounds like a lot, but 
again, it's something that I really enjoy doing. And um, I, yeah, I, I just, I had a good time doing it. And as I, I was getting more and more excited as I was watching how this one was playing out, I just loved it. Like as I started, I just started loving it more and more. And my husband even came down and was like, that's really cool. So I know when he says it's cool, it really is something cool. <laughs> so here is the wet result on this. This was right after I finished. And if you stick around, you'll see the dry results in the photos. Again, I love this. It did sell like almost like within a couple of hours of posting it. So thank you so much for buying this. You know who you are and head over to Taniva's channel and we'll see you on the next one.